Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel 2010 to show you how to programmatically change the grid line color in the back as you've seen what I've done to this worksheet. I've deliberately used this really ugly color because it hurts my eyes and I'm sure I would get that same feedback as well that, that these colors are not very user friendly. But in either case it's a very rare request for somebody to ask to change the grid lines in the back but in case that does happen to you there is a way to programmatically do it and in a way that can be good because you can set up options for your user to change the grid lines in the back. Now this is not to be confused with border your border colors because that's something completely different. Um, under your home tab you can always if you have a border set up um, in this case I'm just going to set one up really quick and let's just say I change it to I want to change my border color to black so let me go on and set that up first do right click it format cell and I'm gonna go to my border and I'm gonna change it to black and just color it out by me setting up that border as a black color these grill lines is not gonna make any kind of impact to the cell so no matter what color we change this right here these grid lines that specific cell right here where I formatted a border will not be modified so let me go on and show you how we can do this. I have my developers tab set up and I inserted a command button right here. I did that by going to insert under ActiveX control, selected the command button and drew it onto the workbook. I'm going to go on and go into design mode and double click the command button. I have some code here already which is the, the code that you see right now in the background. Active workbook dot gridline color index equals four. Now in the Microsoft Developer Network you do have a color legend here from 0 to 56 on colors that you can choose from. Selecting 0 will just pr pretty much put it into Excel's default which is um, the standard color. So I'll also go to 0 and go back to the workbook, take us out of design mode and just click here. We're going to see the color go back to its default and again this cell was not modified because this is a border not an actual grid line but what you can do though is for your users that might have a special request they might want the grid line colors to be different in the back I mean you do have the option of using this code programmatically just make sure that you're only modifying the sheet that you want to modify so you can add an, an if statement where you can do if active sheet dot name equals and then we'll just put raw data then and I'm just gonna change this code out and I'm, I'm gonna because this is a command button we're not really gonna run into a situation here but if I'm gonna if I was to put this into a module where I do sub change grid that way it's a macro instead so now I have the macro up here if I also go to sheet 3 and run that same code nothing happens but if I go to the raw data sheet because of the if statement this sheet should be changed and there you go and there you have it hope you hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching